Coming up, I watch as Brightline's 7th and newest train, Bright Blue 2, is delivered to the all-new Orlando Vehicle Maintenance Facility on February 7th, 2022. Brightline's Orlando Vehicle Maintenance Facility is located on the south side of Orlando International Airport and has a rail connection to the OUC CSX Stanton Rail Line, which the train was delivered on. The train was finishing a cross-country journey from the Siemens Mobility Factory in Sacramento, California, with CSX moving it for the last part of its journey. Crossing over this turnout, Bright Blue 2 becomes the first piece of Brightline equipment to turn its wheels on home rails in Orlando. Up until now, only work trains had accessed the site. The CSX conductor is hopping aboard here after disabling the derail on the track. This is the second train of Brightline's second order of five trains with Siemens to be delivered in preparation for the expansion of rail service from South Florida to Orlando. The first was delivered to West Palm Beach in October 2021 and is currently being used for crew qualifications on the Florida East Coast Railway. The remaining three trains will be delivered later this year. The train was delivered without any fuel, so a fuel truck was present to fill it up so it can move under its own power over to the shop. A freight locomotive was on the front of the train for its entire cross-country journey due to differences in signaling systems and the fact crews on other railroads are not trained on Brightline's SCB-40 locomotives. And here is the CSX locomotive uncoupling and moving forward to get out of the way of the train.
the distinctive nose cones were left off for the delivery so the standard couplers typically hidden under them could be exposed for use. Currently, Brightline's trains are made up of two SCB-40 locomotives and four Venture coaches. Three of the coaches are in the Smart Service configuration, and one is in the Premium Service configuration. The trains are capable of eventually being extended to up to 10 cars with two locomotives, which is what Brightline stations have been built to accommodate. The crew needed to adjust the cutoff valve on the Brightline train as they were preparing it to move under its own power after being towed across the country, so the CSX engine was brought back over so they could hook up to its air system again. With the CSX locomotive pulled away again and the Brightline locomotive fired up, it was finally time to have the first move of a Brightline train on home rails in Orlando under its own power.
The vehicle maintenance facility will become home to all of Brightline's trains once service to Orlando begins. It will be capable of everything from minor day-to-day -day repairs and cleaning up to changing out locomotive engines. The facility is nearing the end of construction, so the train will be stored on this track for the time being. In the coming months, it will be used for testing on the Orlando line and for training for both operating crews and maintenance staff as preparations for service to Orlando begin. I will be taking a closer look at the vehicle maintenance facility as a whole in my next video. Brightline's mechanical personnel were hooking the train up to ground power here. I would like to thank Brightline for inviting me out to attend this milestone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.